Museum Roll Call. Who are you? Hi, I'm Ian Brown. And what is your job title? Assistant Curator of Aviation. What does that actually mean, in five words or less? I collect and interpret aviation. Very good. Can you show us around? Sure, follow me. Oh, cool. Where are we right now? This is the main object store here at the National Museum of Flight in East Lothian. And what's another museum that you love? Uh, probably the Orkney Wireless Museum in Kirkwall. It's just full of fantastic stuff to look at. Sounds great. Um, do you have any boring objects you can show us? Yeah, sure. I've got some interesting boring objects. Um, these um, are all Second World War um, radio and radar equipment. Um, they're all in black boxes, but they're not what we know of as a black box, um, which would be like the flight recorder from an aircraft. Um, but what we know as black boxes are actually orange. Um, so this is one here. Um, and they're orange so that they're easy to find in the event of a plane crash. Cool, so black boxes and black boxes that aren't actually black. In 50 years, what will we feel nostalgic about? Uh, probably cheap air travel um, with climate change and rising fuel costs. It feels like the, the days where you could just jump in a, a plane and fly anywhere you want are, are limited. Can you sum up your collection in one single sentence? Uh, it covers all aspects of aviation um, from big airliners down to small objects like luggage tags and goggles. And here's a hard hitting question. Is cereal soup? No. <laughs> What's an awkward object in the collection? Um, I can show you one in just a little bit. And if you could only save one object from the collection, which would that be? Uh, that's this object here. Um, it's the engine from an aircraft flown by a Scotswoman called Winnie Drinkwater, who was the world's first female commercial airline pilot. Oh, very cool. And what was your first job? Uh, I was a supermarket checkout operator. What's in that cupboard over there? Let me show you. This is a propeller room that um, is most of the propellers that we don't normally have on public display. And there's lots of fantastic stories in here, including this one, which commemorates the first airmail flight in the UK in 1911. Very cool. And how long have you worked here? 17 years. I bet it's flown by, huh? Which film made a lasting impression on you? Uh, Dead Poet Society. Um, it really um, showed me how you can inspire people. And what's your claim to fame? Uh, I'm Scotland's leading radar historian. But let me show you that awkward object. Um, it's this engine, um, very big engine, very small door to get it in here. Um, so it was really awkward to do that. What's our next destination, Ian? Uh, let's go over to the military aviation hangar. Great. Whoa, where are we now? This is the military aviation hangar. What object would you take home, if you could? Uh, well, the collection belongs to the nation, so we're not allowed to take any objects home. Ah, nice cop-out. What's the famous object in the collection? Uh, well, funnily enough, we've got one just here. The Supermarine Spitfire, probably the most famous aircraft ever built. And what's the biggest misconception about your job? Uh, probably that curators just sit around in tweed jackets with leather elbow patches doing research. Can you show us a dangerous object in the collection? Yeah, follow me, I'll show you one now. Great. Mashed potatoes or chips? Chips. What's the hardest part of your job? 
I hate travelling into Edinburgh for meetings, um, but fortunately with online meeting tools these days, it's less of a necessity. Um, but yeah, you asked about uh, dangerous objects. We've got a laser-guided bomb and a German-guided bomb from the Second World War, and it doesn't get much more dangerous than that. What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Probably the Great Wall of China. It's just an amazing place. Can you tell us a joke? Yeah, what kind of cheese do you use to lure a bear out of a cave? I have no idea. Camembert. Oh my goodness. What's the funnest part of your job? Uh, getting to work with objects that were there at great moments in history. And if your job was a song, what would it be? Uh, if I was by mid-year, um, it perfectly represents all the different roles in aviation, pilots, engineers, soldiers, sailors, airmen, everything. If you could time travel, what time period would you visit? Um, probably the Great Exhibition 1851. I'd love to see what it was like. What's your favourite mode of transport? Flying, obviously. Where to next, Ian? Follow me and I'll take you to another hangar. Excellent. We're really flying around the site. What's the most useful tool you use in your work? Definitely a pallet truck. And what object are people most surprised by? It has to be this one right here. Um, Concorde's probably the most obvious object in our collection, but our visitors find it really surprising um, because it's so big on the outside, but it's tiny on the inside. It's just like the TARDIS in reverse. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'd love to be a combination of Stephen Fry's wit and Brad Pitt's looks. One out of two isn't bad. What's one thing visitors coming here shouldn't miss? Has to be Concord. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Fried. What's the weirdest skill you've learned in your role? Uh, maybe not skill, but more knowledge of uh, women's dress sizes um, when we've been collecting cabin crew uniform is definitely weird for me. Tomato sauce or mayonnaise? Ready both. On bacon rolls, absolutely uh, tomato sauce. When it comes to chips, mayonnaise all the way. What's been your favourite day at work ever? Uh, it has to be the day that I got to meet uh, Captain Eric Brown, who's been described as Britain's greatest ever pilot. The life he's led would have put James Bond to shame. And finally, do you have one piece of advice for someone thinking about working in museums? Only do it if you've got an absolute passion for museums. That's great, Ian. Thanks so much for showing us around. Thank you.